Hi there everyone and welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Today we're going to be talking about adding some things to your YouTube videos that will help you get more views and um, will actually help you grow your YouTube channel. I call this part of um, putting videos online staging. So um, what you have to do is you have to put some description and some information on your videos when you post them on YouTube. Now if you're not using videos for marketing or you're not um, taking advantage of YouTube, um, unless there's some very specific reason why for your specific business that it's not going to work, I recommend you look into using video. Video is such an important way to be able to do marketing um, in 2017 and beyond. And um, having a really good active video presence online is becoming more and more important all the time. This is just one little piece of what you need to know. And um, I am including in this email, and I'm sorry, if you're watching this recorded later on, um, this is actually being recorded in, in March, um, March 6th, exactly, of 2017. But if you are watching it in, in this week of March 6th, 2017, in the... Um, in the email that you received the video with, there will be a link to register for a webinar later this week on using video. So I encourage you to do that. And I, I hold those relatively routinely. So if you can't make it this time, I'm sure that we can find one for you to make it to later. And it, this is something I will talk about during the webinar. But for right now, I just wanna give you the piece of information um, about really kind of how to stage your videos online. I call this part staging because it's it's putting it actually on and, and getting it ready to promote. So we are inside of YouTube and um, I have gone to my video manager. And if you're a little confused about how to do that, you can click on these three lines up here in the upper left and typically pick my channel. And when it comes up to the channel, then um, you can click on Video Manager. If you have a Gmail account or a Google account and you don't have YouTube channel, it's kind of included in that package. If you do not have a Google or Gmail account, um, then you'll need to get one and start your YouTube channel. And you'll need to have a videos uploaded, obviously, to do this particular component of, of placing something about um, videos on. So here's my video manager. These are a lot of the webinars that I've done here recently. And um, I have a really good getting started with Constant Contact webinar that I did on March the 1st. Most of these are recordings that people come back and watch um, from webinars that I do. And they're actually unlisted because I want people to register for those webinars and do that in a little bit more, um, how do you want to say it? A little bit more professional way. Um, that's why the views are always so low. Most of them are recorded live, and these are the people that would come back and watch them after the live view. However, in this particular video, it is, I think, unlisted right now, but I want to make it more public because this is one I want to release out to my channel because it was a pretty good webinar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and that's the important click that takes us to the page that gets us to where we can actually stage the video. And again, I'm keeping this short because I don't want to make this run over or five or 10 minutes and, and frustrate you, but I want to give you an idea of some things that you need to be able to that you need to do to these videos um, inside of YouTube in order to get them seen. First of all, when the video is uploaded, it's uploaded with the title that is the raw file. And again, if you're gonna leave it as unlisted, and right now this video is unlisted, eh, that's not a big deal. Nobody's gonna try to search for it. But if you wanna make it public, which you wanna do if you're using videos for marketing, then you want to be able to have more um, something more uh, qualified in the title. So we're gonna just call this getting started with constant contact. Um, email marketing. Now there's a reason why I, I put the email marketing component in there as well. It's because people search for terms like email marketing or how to use email marketing. And if that's in the title of my video, then when people search for it on YouTube, then it's gonna have a better chance of coming up, right? So it makes perfect sense. Um, 
uh, and I'm going to even put my name in here because I do have a, a fair following. I mean, it's not incredible on YouTube, but it's it's getting there. Uh, we're working on moving forward to having a little bit more meaty YouTube channel. So getting started with constant contact email marketing um, by Kimberly Beer. Yeah, I'm going to take that comma out of there. It's not really necessary. Now in the description, I want to be able to put things in the description that make sense to the people that are coming by here to view the video but I also want to put things in the description that if someone is searching for them that they're able to to utilize to find the video in other words I want to use SEO which is called search engine optimization the same principles work here as they do elsewhere so the description so are you a new constant contact subscriber and do you want to use email marketing? Now again, I'm using that word to build your business. It would help if I spell things correctly. And you do have to spell stuff correctly. So, um, so in this webinar, Kimberly Beer of Kim Beer Seminars. Now, again, I'm I'm putting this in a in a readable format, but I'm also using things that I think people might search for. Kim Beer Seminars is something they might search for. Kimberly Beer is something they might search for. We'll show you how to create your first marketing email. So again, create marketing email with constant contact. Again, we're using constant contact because people may be searching for that. It's the actual software that's being used. We'll go over how to, I probably should keep that in a consistent person, how to add images, text, videos, and blog posts using the simple drag and drop editor. Okay, so it doesn't have to be horribly long. It can be longer than this if you want. You can list things out in bullet points. There's all kinds of things you can do here. The point is, is that you want to get a description that when people are searching for things, like if they're searching for how to add an image in constant contact, that's all included. Those words are all in the description. Now in my tags, I'm probably going to want to use email marketing. I want to use constant contact, obviously. Um, I would want to use Kim Beer Seminars. Probably want to use Kim Beer too. Um, typically it's okay. The, I mean, the one probably includes the other, so we're all right there. So add text to an email, marketing email. You don't want to get too long in this. Um, you know, don't want to use like a whole paragraphs. Uh, that's actually probably pushing it for a tag, but you get the point. You want to have things that people would search for um, when they're in YouTube to find out how to do something. This is a how-to video. If you're selling a product, you would want to find whatever that product, whatever problem the product solves, you would want to mention that. If you have a service, you would want to mention whatever problem the, the, the service solves. What are people that are searching for your video searching for? And that's what you want to include in the description. Now constant, I mean, sorry, um, YouTube has a multitude of ways that you can put your video up online. And unlisted means that people just have to have a link to get to it. Private means that it, they have to be invited or on a list that, that you have to supply. I don't recommend the private part unless you're doing family videos. I don't ever use it. But unlisted is kind of handy, especially if um, I do a webinar and I want people to register for the webinar before they watch the recording, which typically we do. In this case, GoToWebinar didn't do the recording correctly, so we had to send it out and so it had to go up on YouTube um, separately. So and I'm just taking advantage of that particular fluke. Anyway, I'm going to change this over to public, which now means that it has been added 
to um, my public viewing on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. My changes are gonna take effect. So basic bottom line for this week, your, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is if you don't have a YouTube presence, go investigate being able to get a YouTube presence. Um, it's really not that hard. And uh, if you do, go back and, and add your seminar description or your descriptions and your titles to your videos using the um, video manager. And if you're currently doing that step, if you're already that advanced on this, then take the next step to really go through and look and see if you're using SEO properly in those descriptions to get the most impact for what people would search for on YouTube. All right, go out there and have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Register for the video webinar if this all seemed like a really over your head. I'll explain to you um, all the steps that come previous to this particular step in that webinar later this week. Um, thank you so much for attending.